Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of BMNG Drive. Jumping in here today on uh, Car Parkour 3. Kind of been playing around with a buddy of mine and thought you know what why don't I get in on um, just single player version of BMNG and do a Car Parkour 3. So pretty much my plan is, depending on how long it takes for me to get through the first two levels, I will break these uh, videos down into parts. So like, today will probably be like level one, level one and two, and pretty much levels one and two will be for today's video, and then we will continue um, to break this up into parts until I can reach that target at the very end. But I do have some interesting things going on, so... For DBRP, I, I've kind of been bland on like what I meant by change of content. What I mean by change of content is I'm going to start switching it up. When I can, I'm going to start doing um, civilian and Instead of just straight up LEO all the time. Start doing more civilian, bringing back 24-7 stuff. Doing more recorded videos and less live streams. Just because it's the school year. Not And most, I know some of my viewers here are teenagers or folks who just don't really have time on their hands. So I'm going to just start by recording some more DVRP content. Um... Do have some things coming down the road. Um, DVRP is switching up a lot of stuff. And hopefully I can start doing more. Um, more like civilian type stuff. And I do have some. Hopefully I can get some park ranger content. Coming in for DVRP since now. I am part of the BCSO uh, division for Parks and Wildlife. And I'm looking forward to start being able to patrol to that as soon as we can get our um, vehicles fixed for Park Ranger. For being a uh, Parks and Wildlife. And I'm going to start uh, showing um, my subdivision. Um, Say it out some love, too. So, I'm looking to start doing some more Say it out videos. I keep saying it. But Say it out is coming. I just need to get a couple of things planned for an event. That a few of me and my group members can do. And that will either be a live stream or a recorded video. I haven't decided fully yet, but that will be coming either in either this month, in the month of October, or I'll be on lookout for it in November. But I'm hopefully going to try to make it come out this month. Before I start doing what I need to do on October 24th. And yes, um, there will be... I'm currently um, going to try to sit down with a few members of DVRP and set up a Halloween event. Uh, depending on what we can do. I'm thinking about bringing out Christine for the Halloween. If you guys ever seen that 1980s film, um, Christine, by a... Who's the author? Uh, I believe it's what? Stephen King, I want to say. But I can be completely wrong. Movie is actually really good. Pretty much, I won't spoil anything, but short story is Christine is a 1958 Plymouth Fury. Uh, is like a supernatural uh, being. Say it that way. And she can pretty much, like, if you're a guy who gets so, how do you put it, like, emotionally angry at the world the car takes that anger and uses it to kill whoever either your bullies are or 
your enemy is. And she can pretty much put herself back together. And that's all I'm going to say for that uh, movie, though. But that is coming. Um, hopefully going to be doing some more uh, stuff soon. Um, I was going to try to record a Farming Simulator 22 video. But apparently my OBS does not like uh, Farming Simulator 22. So that content might get pushed over onto my Xbox. For um, on Twitch in the near future and yes I will be bringing back some American Truck Simulator content that is not um, dead I'm just taking some time to figure out what I want to do next as far as content goes and I would love to see this channel start to get up close to 100 subscribers before the uh, start of 2023. I appreciate everyone who comes out and watches these videos. And and don't be afraid to comment. Like say, hey this is a great video or whatnot. Like don't be afraid to comment. Also, like, subscribe, it'll help me out a lot. It helps out the YouTube algorithm. Helps me figure out, figure out what you guys enjoy the most. And I can start to do more of what you guys enjoy. Like, I know right now, DVRP, all my LEO stuff, I know is very likable right now. I'm saying, I'm going to probably say this now. I am thinking about changing the channel name. Uh, for 2023, for what I do in DVRP, so I might change it to what my actual last name is, kind of like Jeff Fabiano. I enjoy his videos. Used to enjoy Polecat 324's videos, but whatever um, happened to him? Ah, shoot. Whatever happened to him, I'm not going to go into details because it's not really my business to say about why I'm the pole cap, but he was an inspiration of mine to join 5M, but after the events that occurred, um, yeah, it is not good. Like, he was a good person. I don't know why he did what he did. But I'm not going to go into details about it. Because I was never a part of DOJ. But I have read the stuff that they have put out. Um, disregarding what happened. And. I know it's not my place. But. We all know that. Since I work alongside Steve the Gamer. I know he used to be. Friends with. Um, Polecat. Polecat, Jeff Fabiano, Bay Area Bug, Siv Ryan, Zach House, Snack, the Northern Alex, like all those guys are, are a inspiration to that led me to join um, 5M. Like I enjoy Jeff Fabiano's videos, and it's what led me to say, hey, you know what? I want to play American Truck Simulator because that's such a good game, and it is. I mean, you may, if you're a person who doesn't like car games, like, or like racing games in general, like, American Truck Simulator is not a racing game. It's a simulation of actually driving an 18-wheeler. And if, like, let's say you have a hard day at work, it's nice to come home, be like, you know what, I want to either sit, relax, watch something, or be like some of us who are gamers, be like, you know what, I'm going to come home either, I'm going to do a patrol, or I'm going to play some American Truck Simulator and just relax. I feel like that's what most people would do. Like, I'm not here to say it's, say that's what you have to do. I mean, it's, my opinion is that 
It's a very good game. I enjoy it. I enjoy Beam and G too. I enjoy the, the work that the devs are doing for this. This is awesome though. But, say the whether or not, like, like sometimes they say don't ever believe in your idols most of the time. I know I've probably said this, but for those who are new to the channel, no, um, I got the inspiration from, for my channel from my uh, step, from my dad who passed away. And he was a big inspiration of mine. I'm going to continue to do all this because, like, he was always telling me, like, hey, it's one suggestion that he told me is that you should use your YouTube channel instead of, like, showing you playing games, use it to, like, critique games. In my opinion, it's like, that's pretty much what you're doing when you're playing the game, is that you're, cr you're kind of critiquing what's wrong or what's right, or why you love it or why you hate it. Like, for 5M... Like, that's been around for a while. But, I'm going to just say this. I know the rumors about GTA 6. And that Rockstar is, I think, trying to do what the Crew 2 does. What Ubisoft does. And do, like, a live map of that game. If they go that route, like, what's that going to do for the roleplay communities in the future? Are we going to stick to 5 and? 5M where it's just GTA A or what are we gonna do like that's the questions that we kind of gotta ask ourselves is what what's the uh, future since we all know if you play GTA online on Xbox PC PlayStation like we all know Rockstar has said their goodbyes to a GTA 5 and GTA Online. It doesn't mean that they're gonna stop working on it because like I know they they're still doing like a Halloween event this year which I will be covering over on my Twitch. I believe the Halloween events start on GTA Online October the 15th so I know why I said before or if you're in my Discord and you look at my streaming schedule and I probably put for an earlier date. But that live stream will probably be happening October the 15th. I'm looking forward to seeing what's happening. Because last year was pretty phenomenal with the UFOs that they did. And with the ghost car and the killer clowns. I hope that they did some of the, like kind of on the same topic of it but also went a little bit better bigger since it's like their final year working on GTA 5 and looking forward down the road to Grand Theft Auto 6. I'm hopefully hoping by the time that that comes out that um that I'll have my stuff upgraded everything sorted away. But they're like either saying 2025 or a little bit later than that. Like, I don't officially like look at the things for it. But, yeah. But as I said, throughout the month I'm going to start doing like some other content related to Halloween. Because like, usually I don't do anything for Halloween, but... This year I think it'd be fun, like, like, the way this channel started was, before I even got, like, where I am now, I started with Call of Duty Mobile, and that game's fun, but I will do be doing, since they are bringing back their, uh, classic zombie mode, for Halloween, I will be doing some videos on that, so be on the lookout for that in the next, I think, week or two. Once that update drops, I'll try to record a video or two of that. And I think that'll be fun.
hope it will do a couple of videos because I have been waiting for two years for him to bring it back. Like, I'm looking forward to it. So re and it's, I started playing that back in 2019 when COD Mobile first launched. And it's the reason why I started playing it was just because for zombies. Then when they took it out, I kind of did a couple of videos covering like the multiplayer and stuff. But I know here soon, they're planning on doing Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. Bringing back the very first map. And for that was in Warzone, bringing back Veridesk. And that map is fun. Like, if you enjoy that map, I'll be happy to see it on Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. I don't even know if my phone will be able to handle it, but we will find out when that releases. I have no idea when or when Activision plans on releasing that. But. Hopefully, like, the mechanics are a little bit better than in Call of Duty Mobile. Like, they tweak things every now and then, take out stuff, like... What I would love... Is from, like, instead of you having to spend money on cop points, just... Like, as you level up through the battle pass, maybe give, like... Some players a way to earn COD points... By just leveling up through the battle pass... Every a couple of tiers. Because I just see a waste of money when you're, um, when it's a free game to play, but then you have to pay for, like, COD points. And... I know some people will be like, yeah, well, it's, it is what it is. I know it is what it is. I enjoy it. But I am happy to see Call of Duty Mobile finally bring back zombies. After they took it off in late 2019, early 2020. But I will ha be happy to see that again. I'm going to be right back. I got to go take care of something. So I'm going to be on. Um, well, I'll be pausing for a second. And then I will continue with this uh, video.
Alright, sorry about that. Take care of some. But now, um, let's go ahead and continue. Still on level one. Going across some pizzas. Okay, how did I manage to do that? God dang it. Oh, look, there's the finish. I know I tried doing a video on this a few weeks ago. And it was, like, not really a video or a live stream that's on me. I apologize for that. But, as I said, I would bring some BMG content, so here it is. Pretty much what I was saying before I had to take care of what I need and take care of, like, I enjoy content creating, and, like, if, ah, shoot. Like, if, I love content creating, like, if you guys have any questions, um, Feel free to comment and either ask for A, my email, or two, um, or two for my, um, Discord. And if you have any questions, feel free to join it. I will probably have it, I will pro have the link in the uh, description when I, whenever this video gets posted. And, um, yeah. Pretty much going back to what I was saying, I enjoy content creating. The one thing that does bother me, though, I'm going to say it, though, is that when you comment, please don't be, like, putting some inappropriate stuff down. Like, I read all the comments before I allow them to be published. So, like, I read all of them so I know, like, whether or not, like, it's appropriate or not to be published and to, for others to see it. But if you're posting, like, videos to, like, links to, like, say, OnlyFans, don't be posting it. YouTube's not the place for it. Or posting pay videos to any other type of, like, uh, over 18 sites, like... Any, like, um, adult content, I should say. Don't be posting any of that. Because I read all of them to see what my viewers think. I don't like trying to read and see that, see, like, in another language. Please be like, if you're over 18, click here. Like, that's just asking to be hacked or something else. Like, as they say, like, there are dangers of the internet every day. And I probably said this in a couple of my videos, but I'm going to say it again. And I'm going to say it also for all my valued um, DVRP members of Diverse. So if you guys are the media members, I would say say the same thing. Like, don't make sure people aren't doing that stuff. They may do it, and it's extremely rude rude because it's like we work hard for what we do beyond yeah, we might be sitting down we're playing video games but some of us might want to try and turn our channels into like a side business and you might have heard me mention in some of my live streams that that's the direction I want to go with this channel is eventually turn it into a business down the road. It's going to take me a while to get there, but it's going to be the hard work and the dedication for the rest of 2022 and into uh, 2023. And let's just hope that 2023 is a different year for everyone than the last three years having to deal with COVID-19 
and just that the world has gone to complete hell with the war in Ukraine and all. And I do support Ukraine, alright? I may be an American, but I will say this. I do support Ukraine and what they are doing. They're fighting for what's right. And... And I feel bad for the people of Ukraine. I do. Like, you're never gonna hear me say something rude or anything, unless like I'm, unless like I'll say something rude, but it'll be like in RP, of course. But that's gonna be like role play stuff, though. Most time I will be screwing with like some of my uh, partners in divers, and that's all right. But more that's coming. Like I do apologize. Like if you've watched some of my past videos or streams of why my GTA is what it is, it's because I had to lower my resolution so then I can boost my frames. Just a little bit. Dang, I cannot make it through here. Why? So I, and I enjoy doing this. Like, I find it as like a hobby to do. And I enjoy it. And Hopefully here soon, like, I might try to do a beam and P, either video or a live stream with a few of my buddies. Alright, I'm gonna say that I made it because that's just getting frustrating. Alright, getting through the rest of that noodle is frustrating. But... I enjoy what I do, and I'm going to continue doing it, no matter what, um, people say. Because most of the time, it just, it doesn't appeal to me. Like, why some people choose, like, if you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say it. I want... Oh, that's my camera. Alrighty, let's continue. Almost to the end of level 1. It's taking me 20 minutes to get through it. What the... Um, well... Minus the uh, 2 minutes I was AFK. But, still. Like, tell me... You get, like, let me know what you guys think of like videos like this. I know it's just me droning on about stuff that is important, but some people actually do that as they're commentating what's happening. And I'm going to try to do some team-ups with a few friends, members, and I'm going to say this. If you guys, anyone who's new or wants to join uh, DBRP, um, when you fill out an application, actually fill it out and work on your spelling like if you're 16 17 you're in high school you should know how to write a paragraph and to know when to check your spelling like and write a paragraph like like I've had a couple people come comment because like I denied them for something that when they realize like yeah you did put in the effort but we're not going to accept you, like, if, let's say, your spelling is, um, heinous. As in, like, when you're reading a paragraph, like, you should at least proofread your application before you submit it. Because the person who reads it is going to determine whether or not they want you to join the community. Like, if you can't spell, and it's not very professional, like... They teach you this kind of stuff when you're looking, like, for a job. Alright. Spelling is everything when you're out of high school. 
Spelling, being professional. Like, I may not... Alright. Like, some of us, we may not be the greatest at spelling. But it's always good to have, like, a spell checker or a dictionary nearby. If you can't... Like, we live in the world of technology, so either... Ask your phone, hey Google, or hey Siri, can you spell this for me? And... And just proofread. It's not that hard to proofread. This is long and tedious. No, oh, darn it. I almost made it. Alright, let's try this one more time. I think what I'll do is break this up into five parts. So, I'm going to finish level one. Because I don't want this video to be too long. I'm going to finish level one since level two is right there. And when I will pick it up in next time I record. It will either be another parkour video or I'm going to space out the parkours. And do some beam MP with a couple of friends. Um, and yeah, just pretty much before I conclude the video, here in like maybe a few minutes, I'm gonna just say like, I appreciate all of you who come out, watch the content. I appreciate you, and I would love to see more love, support, and don't be afraid to ask like questions about. Like, I'm not gonna bite. Like, I'm a, I'm a very nice person, like. And if you join Diverse and you ask some of the members, they will say, yeah, he's a very good person. I enjoy working with all, everyone in DBRP. I've said that, like, a lot. Like, I enjoy working with Chad. Uh, A.K.A. Controversy on YouTube. And also, next year, I'm actually thinking... For starting for Halloween 2023, um, gonna be doing a little something planned. Gonna be maybe doing a vlog of like um, Halloween decorating. It'll be the first year doing it. But be on the lookout for that next year. I know you may, f for whoever comes across this video, might already be passed or upcoming but Halloween 2023 I might do a video vlog on um, stuff outside of my uh, gaming routine like maybe showing like decorations or I'll eventually do like a tour of my setup but I think right now the way things are I might just wait on that because I'm probably gonna change a few things I'm still working on my setup, like, so for American Truck Simulator, I'm actually looking to finally have, like, a steering wheel. So then, I can play American Truck Simulator and get the feel of having a steering wheel. Because right now I just play with an Xbox remote. Okay, this is driving me nuts. And I would actually love to see, um, I would love to start making some, uh, new content, like, I'm gonna probably do a vlog and maybe do, like, maybe eventually down the road I will do, like, a face cam once I can learn how to do that and get, like, a cam set up. So... Yeah, I'm going to try to work on a lot of stuff. Hopefully I can figure out the kinks for my streaming setup and everything. And get things squared away down to the T. And I don't have to worry about it. But I will say this now. Um, I'll thank all you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video or live stream.
and have a good rest of uh, your Monday or whenever you guys see this video. Thank you and take care.